Drew Estate, Factory Smokes, Sungrown. Hey, we're gonna locate this cigar block. So, this video almost didn't get made, yeek, because of the obnoxious wind earlier in the day. But the wind finally decided to not die down and not be a massive pain in the butt, so I decided to do a uh, wait review, shall we say. As in, it's probably going to be dark by the time I finish this. So the Drew Estate Factory Smokes are pretty much a, uh, well, factory smokes, basically. They're the equipment sandwich that you end up giving out to employees of a cigar rolling factory. And so these are made with a uh, sun-grown wrapper and are marketed specifically to people looking for a good cheapo. So we will go ahead and uh, do our typical torch and scorch here. Hopefully everything will actually burn well. Ah. It helps to keep the lighter held upright so it actually, you know, takes the fuel. Okay, so right off the bat, there's a bit going on here, which is interesting for a Cuban sandwich. You get a little spice. Want to a little graham cracker note? I'm going to say clean tobacco. There's a little something there that I'm trying to put my finger on. Well, hopefully, by the time I get to the first inch, whatever that is, will end up making itself more apparent. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unfoo bar my light and uh, see if I get done with the first inch. And hopefully, uh, it'll still be light enough to actually film. Okie doke. Get on the inch in here. It's got to find the wind died down, so now i got to be like real careful about dog walkers and raging bicyclists that are trying to run you over. Okay, so, anyway, flavor-wise. Simple, clean. Kind of mellow. Not too bad. You clean tobacco. It's a little sweet. The spice is kind of dying down a little bit. I want to say there's a uh, slight floral note in the retro hill thing. Kind of hard to pinpoint. But anyway, this is a Cuban sandwich style cigar, if I'm not mistaken. So that means there's basically a uh, mixed filler. It's not floor sweepings. I want to make that very clear. Floor sweepings is something that I reserve for like counterfeit cigars. Like if you find a uh, Cohiba Bahique for like two bucks in Mexico, yeah, don't even bother with that. That's not real. <laughs> it will, however, have hair, rat turds, and like antifreeze in it, but you know. Yeah, that is not this. This is basically, you take a really, really good cigar, trim it up, you still have a lot of leftover tobacco that you can't really roll into a proper full cigar, so you end up taking little bits and pieces, and basically just leftovers, and uh, well, um, I guess uh, the best way to put it, um, it's a hot dog, more or less. It's like your Liga Privada is going to be your big, huge porterhouse steak. This is, you know, the nice gourmet hot dog, shall we say. Although I'm not entirely sure this is necessarily gourmet because they're called factory smoke, so it's just, you know, designed to replicate the freebies that they hand out to the factory workers. Simple, cheap. Of course, provided you keep puffing on them, not bad. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get this uh, band off of here, get this down to the halfway point, and uh, see if anything in, see if anything intensifies, changes, or does something. Okay, so we're not quite at the halfway point, but I'm gonna say close enough because there's another thing about mixed flavor cigars, they will let you know. If your light is as good as you think it is. In this case, uh, my light definitely wasn't. Uh, I can say that it's probably just my light on this one because I've had others of these and they burn just fine. This one, for whatever reason, I somehow managed to 
completely screw up the light, so it's really wanting to tunnel and go out on me. And I'm just going to chalk it up to operator error right there. Get the... So where the sun's not blazing straight in my eye. Okay. So, relative burn issues aside, like I said, the burn issues that I'm having, I think it's just my fault on that one. Uh, basically, flavors have been pretty consistent. Wasn't expecting a whole lot of crazy transitions or anything like that because mixed filler. Overall, kind of light. A little sweet, a little bitter. A little bit of spiciness to it. Uh, I'm going to say kind of an indis indistinct spiciness. It's just that it's something that you can kind of Hmm. Get a little spicy taste. But something that you know, it's not you know it's not really like a piquant spice or like a baking spice, it's just a kind of a generalized just spiciness. But uh, yeah. Like I said, I screwed up my light really bad on this one and uh, it's really wanting to die and tunnel on me, so I'm gonna say don't take that as a representative of uh, the entire bundle that you get of these, because you'll get like twenty of them in a bundle. Because every other one I've smoked has burned just fine. This is the only one that so far that's given me pits. So I'm gonna see if I can fix this, hopefully without scorching through the entire thing, and get back to get the nub. Okay, so getting pretty close to the nub here. And uh, like I said, burn issues, I'm gonna chalk that up to my crap light. Uh, because like I said, I've had others in the bundle that burn just fine. This one, on the other hand, has been giving me all kinds of headaches. Pretty much because. Well, you gotta make sure you don't squish the filler. <laughs> flavor wise, though, when you actually get the good flavor, uh, it's a little sweet, a little spicy, a little bitter. Clean tobacco. Nothing really too stand out, but not particularly bland either. Nice classic cigar flavor, believe it or not. The only issue, though, is that you got to make sure you know what you're doing when you go to light these things because they will let you know if you screw up. They will dramatically let you know. But honestly, for the price, not bad. I know this looks really bad, but like I said, make sure you get your light spot on. Every other one of these has burned just fine. This is the only one I've had to do touch-ups and relights so far. So, as far as whether or not you should pick these up, uh, maybe. I mean, I think they make for pretty decent cheapos. Just little everyday cheapos. But, if this is uh, what you're basing your decision on, well, approach with a little bit of caution. Even then, they're cheap enough that if you don't like them, you can probably just check them anyway. Or, and about friends. Or, like, family members you don't like. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm kind of pooing it, but it's actually a really decent cigar. I just you gotta make sure you get it right. What do you pair with? Coffee, whiskey, standard cigar stuff. Probably a nice tea would be nice. Imagine hot afternoon. So you just got done mowing the lawn. You've probably been puffing on something else, or maybe one of these. Sit back, iced tea. Have a nice warm, have a nice little afternoon. I'm trying my <laughs> I'm trying my damn just to uh, like not completely just crap all over because of the really weird burn issues that I've had. Because it is a good cigar, it really is. But like I said, just you've got to get it lit right. Anyway, this is kind of starting to get to the point of finger burning, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Basically, uh, yeah. I would say approach with a little bit of caution. Know that there's a possibility you could have some burn issues, but for the price, it is not, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. These are really affordable. And I think they make it actually pretty good to labor days. But that said, that's pretty much all I got. Labors aren't really anything to write home about, but they're not bad. They're there, they're good. They're just uh, kind of kick back on a hot afternoon flavors. Anyway, not much else to say about this other than uh, if you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. 
Beyond that, check out my Twitch channel, Sunday the Friday night, 10 to 2 a.m. If you can't make it live, they will end up on YouTube eventually. And eventually, I will remember to link the page on... I will remember to eventually link the VOD page onto my main page. Eventually. Anyway. Yeah. I gotta get inside, because it's getting uh, a little chilly out here, as my nose is starting to inform me. So, yeah, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.